We have to do those elegant handoffs. We have to use this principle and we have to set people up for success. Sometimes as a hygienist, I don't get that. You know, I don't think I, can, I have to set anybody else up for success. Sometimes as a chair site assistant, I don't think about that. There's nothing more valuable to a dentist than when the team members are already working in front of them. The primary responsibility of a dental assistant is to hold the patient's concerns in front of the dentist constantly on a relational basis. That's an amazing gift when we can remind the dentist, keep the dentist book, and do a lot of the things and do that what we call an elegant handoff. And I'll say this, when it comes to handoffs, no handoff is the worst handoff. Sometimes we just leave patients in cyberspace. They're sitting there with a chart in front of them on the consult table. Have you ever seen that? That's crazy. We have to do elegant handoffs. Patients should never have to repeat their story. This is a killer. Patients go crazy when they have to tell the person on the phone, oh yeah, by the, by the same token, let me tell the assistant, oh, and I'm going to tell them the same story again to the hygienist, oh, and I'm going to have to repeat it again for the doctor. They should never, ever have to repeat their story. We should know their story. When you know their story and you know their name, their eyes pop out of their head. And they say, you guys really communicate. People notice that. 